Welcome back to 2230, your go-to channel for in-depth insights into news and events shaping our world. Today, we're diving deep into a concerning development in Singapore, the resurgence of COVID-19. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe for more engaging content like this. Also, drop your thoughts in the comments section below, we want to hear from you. Just when it seemed like life was returning to normal, Singapore finds itself in the midst of a second COVID-19 wave in 2023, as Health Minister Ong Yi Kung recently warned. But what does this mean for Singaporeans and the region? Let's break it down. Over the past few weeks, we've seen a steady increase in daily cases, from 1,000 to 2,000. While this is not as severe as previous waves, it's a reminder that the virus is still very much present. Here's where it gets interesting. Singapore has opted not to impose social restrictions, choosing to treat COVID-19 as an endemic disease. It's a bold strategy that aims to allow life to go on while managing the virus. What's reassuring is that current vaccines remain effective in preventing severe illness. Health Minister Ong Yi Kung emphasized this point, stating that there's no evidence to suggest that the new variants causing this wave are more likely to cause severe illness. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Seniors and medically vulnerable individuals are urged to take precautions, including wearing masks in crowded places and keeping their vaccinations up to date. This is crucial to ensure their protection. Looking ahead, Mr. Ong predicts that more people may fall sick in the coming weeks, potentially leading to increased hospitalizations and longer waiting times. In conclusion, while Singapore faces its second COVID-19 wave this year, the government's approach is unique. They're choosing to live with the virus, trusting in the effectiveness of vaccines and emphasizing individual responsibility. What are your thoughts on Singapore's strategy? Do you think it's the right approach, or should stricter measures be in place? Let's discuss in the comments below. And remember, if you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to 2230 for more insightful content. Stay safe, everyone!